Greg Shoemaker, TriStateFootball.com, here at Reading High School with head coach Scott Tomlin. And Scott, uh, last year you got four victories, uh, big, big improvement over the year before in the 0-10 season. But it seems like this year should be even better. Talk about the 2013 squad. Well, we did improve four wins last year, uh, mainly based on uh, largely what's going to be our senior class for 2013, uh, which is why our expectations are high. Uh, it's a great group. I think we have 12 seniors, uh, and, and they're good players, but most importantly, they've committed completely to what we want to do off-season, pre-season, during the season, the whole bit. They're, they're all in, and, yeah, we have, we're expecting to compete for a league title this year. You're making some changes on offense. You've got uh, Jacob Blair now going to run the quarterback position for you. Talk about uh, him and that, that transition for him. Well, Jacob said he wants to play quarterback, and, and we're not going to hand it to him. He's going to have to earn it. Uh, but we just we want an additional threat in the backfield, so he provides us a nice uh, run-pass option. Uh, last year, we were under center eye-backs most of the time, and, and it was too easy for other teams to gang up on us uh, to stop the run. And we didn't have an effective passing game. Uh, that's certainly something we need to fix this year. But Jake, with a run-pass option, uh, should uh, help us be a little bit more explosive this year. Now, defensively, I mean, you've got Shane Roy, who's, who's going to play Division One football in college, but Derek King's an outstanding defensive tackle. Pinson's back on that side of the ball. You've got a lot of parts coming back. Talk about that side. Oh, we're really excited about defense. We're going to graduate uh, one interior lineman and one cornerback. Everybody else is coming back, and and if if we if we know what we're doing in the off season, uh, they'll be coming back bigger and better. Uh, really excited about it. Derek King. Uh, we moved him from end to interior last year, and he was even more effective on the inside. Uh, that was possible because Alex Dickman came up and played defensive end, uh, much improved player. Uh, yeah, we're really excited. Uh, this is the first year we've had the same coordinator on both sides of the ball for two years in a row. Uh, so we're hoping that continuity is, is really going to help us gel and improve. Your offseason or your preseason non-conference, excuse me, your non-conference schedule is pretty tough. A lot of physical teams early on. Williamsburg's got the great running back, Mason Hall. Uh, CHCA can, can run or pass and, and have some depth. What are you looking to get out of those first three games that you're playing? I mean, Purcell Marion even is going to be have their best team in years. Correct. It's it's a daunting task. Uh, Williamsburg is our first year playing them, so it's going to be pretty new. But the early word is they're big and physical. Uh, it'll definitely be a big challenge for us. CHCA is always good. Eric Taylor does an excellent job. Yeah, and Purcell Marion they 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 whooped up on us last year. That big and athletic. Um, obviously, our goal is to win every game we play, uh, but it, it's going to be a, a very difficult task. Um, for us to win, I mean, it's always going to be the same. We have to play great defense and great special teams. And unlike last year, we got to get our offense going. I think if, if we're productive on offense and can play keep away for a little bit, uh, we can be effective against anybody. You know, you've been here for a long time. You graduated from here. Uh, this program's had a wonderful tradition of winning uh, over the past couple of decades now. What is so special about Reading and why are you still sticking around? It's home. Uh, no, I love the place. I love the community and the kids. Uh, it's a blue-collar town, so all the advancements, technology and whatnot, it's still a blue-collar town, and, and the kids and their work ethic uh, reflect that. I mean, there is a, there's a certain grit or toughness to the boys that, that I love, and you know, I've heard it from coaches at other schools saying they wish their kids were more like Redding kids. Uh, that's something we take a lot of pride in, and we're not always going to be talented, but we expect our kids to be hard workers, and we expect them to be tough. And and if they are, then then we got a shot in every game we play. There you go, Scott Tomlin, the head coach of the Reading Blue Devils.